Hello everyone. Today we are going to install or reinstall Windows 10 using USB drive or a DVD. That is our installation media. For this, you will need an installation media. It can be either in the form of USB or a DVD and uninterrupted power supply because you don't want the computer to shut down when the installation is going on and the internet connection if you want to activate or update during the installation. Now the important things to remember are to back up any important files and product key serial numbers before formatting a windows and I would suggest you to please watch this video whole video before proceeding with, with any step. Now I would like you to install your USB media or DVD media to continue with the installation. So as you can see here I have my desktop with the previously installed windows here so I am going to restart it. Once it restarts, I will tap on the F2 key to get into the boot menu where I will change the boot order because I want to boot this PC now through the USB because USB is my installation media. So using the arrows key, I got into the boot menu here and then I am selecting the first boot priority as the USB file, USB device. So now I will change the config save the conf configuration and the computer will start again but now it will start into from the USB it can take a while or a couple of attempts to get it here So now as you can see we have now windows setup started here and it will ask you to select the language and time and the keyboard layout. So I will click on next now and then I will click on the install now button. So it is showing that the setup, setup is starting. Now it will ask you for the windows product key. Either you can enter the product key right now or you can also click on the I don't have the product key but as I have my product key right now with me I will enter it and then click on next You will need to have a product key to continue installation. Without it, you won't be able to go ahead.
So it's asking me to accept the license terms. Then click on next after selecting I accept the terms. Now it is giving me two options upgrade and custom install. Upgrade is if you are upgrading from another version of Windows to a newer version where your files and programs will be uh, shifted or upgraded to the newer version. But I am here installing custom because I want to format my older my already installed version of Windows. And when you click on that, you will be guided to this part where you will be able to format your different available disk partitions. So I just want to format the uh, partition in which I have previously installed my OS that is my local disk C. It will not show you as a local disk C but I know the size of the partition so I can so I am sure that this one is my local disk C and therefore I will format that only. And the partition of which I don't format right now the files and programs in those will remain the same. They won't get deleted. So as you can see I have now uh, filled up the space by formatting and then I will click on next. So as it has started installing windows. You can see green tick marks once the specific uh, group of files are being installed. And when all of these things get installed the computer will restart All these processes will take time, so all you need is patience.
so now it is going to restart itself so now we are you need to do the most important thing is when the computer will restart you need to again go into the boot menu by either tapping F2 or any other key and change the boot order back to hard drive you have previously changed it to USB you need to change it back to hard drive otherwise you, it will boot again into the USB and will start the installation again so here I am changing the first boot priority back to hard drive and will save the configuration and the computer will restart again as we have done previously Here again, things will take time. Here you need to choose an, uh, choose an operating system. Here is showing three cause I failed in two attempts earlier. That is why I have to. I it's showing three operating system right now. So I can just either one, and the setup starts again. Setup continues. So yeah, it is showing you getting devices ready and starting services. may happen that you may think that it's getting ready screen is stuck there for a while but it's not mine took almost five to six minutes on this getting ready screen alone so again here you need patience and just relax it will install it by its own
so it is starting again by its own During the whole installation process, the computer will start a couple of times, so you need not worry about it, it is perfectly normal. Here you can see now, we have a Cortana. It is asking you if you need a screen reader. Then choose the options. So here it is asking you to select the region. So mine is India. Keyboard layout I will select English India. I don't want to add the second keyboard right now, so I will skip that step. Here it will ask you to connect to a network. If you have one, you can do it. If you don't, you need not do it. You can select here I don't have an internet. It is connected now.
it will ask you to sign in into a Microsoft account. And you can do it here. This typically because I have uh, chosen I have an internet connection that is why it is asking me to log in. Here it is asking us to make a pin which we will be using it to log into our account when we turn on the computer. I usually don't prefer activity history to be saved or shared with anybody so I'm clicking on no now it is asking me to if I want to access Android phone notification text so I'm just typing in my number it will do the necessary once it's done I'm clicking on next Right now I am not very much into backing of files so I am clicking next. You can obviously change the settings later on once the OS is installed. So you need not worry about it right now. If it's on you can turn it off and if it's off you can turn it on later on the settings when you are using your computer. So your digital assistant there is Cortana here. I don't want to deal it with right now, so I'm decline. I'm going to decline it. Then this year here you will need to choose your privacy settings, such as location and other things. I don't want to share my location when I'm doing anything. So I would un untick that option. So it is almost done. So now, yes, you can see this high. When you see this high, you can assume that you have already almost installed your OS. So yes, this might take several minutes. All you can do is wait.
So yes, congratulations. It seems like we have complete, correctly installed your Windows, cause now you are in the welcome screen here. You can see all your icons, taskbar, menu, start menu, everything. So yes, all primary apps that Windows gives you by default are present there. Checking a few things out. So this is my C folder, uh, local disk C in which I have installed my OS. I am checking the properties so that I can know how much is used and how much is free here so yes seems like everything has been installed fine now I'm going to check if my windows version is activated or if the computer accepted my key So first I will go I am going to see the specification that are showing in the about section. Okay, it seems good. So it is showing Windows 10 home version and install on. So yes, you can now remove your installation media and thank you very much for watching this video. Please give me your suggestions in the comment section below or you can even contact me via email. Thank you.